How to create digital bookmarks in a Word document. Hey everyone, it's Deborah, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a digital bookmark within a long document. Okay, on my screen I have a document. It's not very long, but it's got four pages in it. So um, let's say that this is a document that you are sharing with people online and you want them to be able to click back up to the top of the document from anywhere that they happen to be. Now I'm sure that um, on websites and other things you've, you've done online you've seen a link now and then that says back to top or return to the top of the document or top of the page. That's the kind of bookmark I'm talking about. So let's say that you want to create a bookmark that will with that when the user clicks it they return back up to the very top of the page well first we have to mark that area that you want to get back to so uh, I'm gonna put a, a special mark or code here at the top of the page okay so my flashing insertion point is here and it doesn't matter you know it can be at the end of the title or at the beginning of the title. Um, either way is fine, but I'll put it at the beginning. And then you want to navigate to the Insert tab at the top of your Word page, the Insert tab, and over here roughly in the middle you'll see a group called Links, and you want to choose Bookmark. Now, before, you know what, before I click on it, look at what the screen tip tells you um, and when you hover over the bookmark it will tell you uh, how it works and what to do. So first you want to select the content you want to jump to and insert a bookmark there. So I'm going to put the bookmark here at the front. Okay when I click bookmark I get the bookmark dialog box so I want to give it a name so I'm just going to say top okay or well okay top and and any name that you give it sh you should include um, the underscore the underline underscores in between the words instead of spaces top of first page okay so we're going to add that okay and now I'm going to scroll down, oh, I don't know, let's say the bottom of the second page. So I'm going to click down here, bottom of the second page. And I'm going to put in a hyperlink that when you click it, it takes you right back up to the top of that first page. So what I'm going to do is put the hyperlink, let's see, I could put it here, but I think I would rather put it here instead of at the very bottom edge. I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to create a space and I'm going to say return to top of document. Okay, so I'm going to select that right and I'm going to insert a link so I'm still on the insert tab and just above the bookmark uh, button is a link button so I'm going to click that and when the insert hyperlink uh, dialog box comes up you've got to be careful that you're choosing the right type of hyperlink it automatically starts by choosing existing file or web page meaning that if you insert this link now it's gonna think that you want to go to some web page or something outside of the document no I wanna stay within this document so you have to be sure that you click here first place in this document okay so I'm gonna click that and when you do when I do it there are all these different places within the document I can choose from okay what I want to do is choose this the top of the document itself so I'm already scrolled all the way up to the top and I have this bookmark that I had created first before I started on this hyperlink remember so I'm gonna choose top of the document and I'm gonna click OK 
Notice that now where it says return to top of a document, it is a hyperlink. So if I hover over that hyperlink, it says control plus click to follow the link. So I'm going to press the control key on my keyboard and hold it down. And now I can see my little pointing hand and I can click on it and boom, it takes me right back to that bookmark. Now you don't have to create bookmarks that just go to the top of the page. You can also create bookmarks that will navigate you to any spot you want in the whole document. So, you know, you can choose pretty much anywhere that you want. I'm going to go to the very end of the document. I'm at the bottom of page four. Okay, and here, let's see, here I'm going to put a bookmark. Oh, let's see, somewhere here. Let's say here. What student support services are currently available to online learning students? Okay, that's going to be my bookmark. So I'm going to place my flashing insertion point there. I don't have to select anything. I just have to put my flashing insertion point where I want the bookmark to go. Then I'm going to go back up here to my bookmark button on the insert menu. I'm going to add a new bookmark. So I want to delete this wording, be the top of the first page. That's not what I want anymore. Okay, I want to say something different. So I'm going to say, oh, let's see, let me move this out of the way. I'm going to say um, student Oops, I forgot to put my little underscore. Student Support Services. I'll say that. And then I'll have to click Add. Okay, so I've added it. Now I can go back to the bottom of my document, back to the bottom of page four, and I'm going to say um, go to uh, information information about student support services. Okay, so here's a link for that. Well, it's going to be. So I'm going to select that link or select the, the word, sorry. Then I'm going to click link. And when the insert hyperlink box comes up, I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting a place in this document and I'm going to go down here to my bookmarks. Okay, I don't, I could go up here into some of the headings. You know, you can choose any place you want, but I specifically want this bookmark that I created. Student Support Services. Okay, click OK. There's my link. So now if I try the link out, if I control and click, it should take me right to that part of the document, and it did. So it's important to know how to do this if you're working with documents that are going to be posted online for people to use online, especially if the document is more than just a couple of pages. You want to have a quick and easy way for people to navigate within your document.